I'm with uh, Castle Keepers. I'm in Charleston, South Carolina. I'll tell you a little bit about uh, each one of us here. Um, I own a company uh, called Castle Keepers. Been in the house cleaning business for over 20 years. Um, we have a number of accreditations: the RCC Seal of Excellence, uh, IICRC. Uh, we're SIM certified through ISSA. We have branches in Charleston, Greenville, and Atlanta. Um, I, along with uh, Derek Christian, are publishers of uh, Cleaning Business Today. Um, I'm a partner with uh, Derek and Liz Trotter with uh, Cleaning Business Builders. Uh, we have a website and promote chemical-free cleaning products through Modern Cleaning, a uh, cleaning methodology that we pioneered back in 07 and 08. Um, help uh, write the IICRC HCT certification manual and test. Um, past president of ARCC and uh, helped with the Innovation Summit a couple of years ago. Um, my partner, uh, Derek Christian, um, the maid service uh, owner, has interest in several maid services, but really cut his teeth uh, with a company in Cincinnati called My Maid Service. It was an ICRC certified firm. Uh, Derek's really big in marketing and, uh, I guess, public relations, and uh, he uh, gets quoted quite a bit in a number of major publications. Uh, CNN Money, uh, CBS, uh, Better Homes and Gardens, and many, many more. Uh, like I said, he's a partner uh, with, with me in Cleaning Business Today, the uh, online uh, magazine for the residential cleaning industry, um, partner in Cleaning Business Builders. He does commercial work through another brand called ACS, and Carpet Cleaning, uh, helped with the ACT manual, and former board member of RXC. Liz Trotter. Um, I describe Liz as a force of nature. She is uh, owner, uh, founder and owner of American Maid Cleaning Service in Olympia, Washington. Been doing that for longer than I have, so well over 20 years. Uh, RCC certifications, IICRC. Uh, she uh, created and uh, developed a program for employee motivation and engagement called HIPEP. Uh, created Made Money, uh, another employee. Uh, engagement recognition tool that uh, we sell through Cleaning Business Builders, um, partnering Cleaning Business Builders, writes a number of articles for us in Cleaning Business Today, and a former RC board member. Um, together, uh, you know, we do about six million, uh, really over six million in revenue, uh, just cleaning homes, uh, 80 years combined experience, we're IICRC certified firms, uh, uh, industry experts through uh, STEMS with ISSA, um, got different business models. One of the things that Derek, Liz, and I uh, kind of pulled together is we all have successful businesses, but they're all very different. We run them differently from each other. Um, you know, Derek does solos. Liz does like four and five person teams. We do two person teams. Our market sizes are different. There's a lot of things different about our, our, our companies, but the uh, core aspects of our business, the foundational aspects of our business, if you will, are all common, and that's what we uh, teach in this program that we're going to be sharing uh, with you here this afternoon. Um, we do a variety of different cleaning methodologies, standard chemical cleaning as well as clean and even, green rather, and even uh, the chemical free that I mentioned earlier, different market sizes, and there are a lot of different niches that we're in. We uh, uh, do some work in areas that we call residential, where it looks like residential cleaning, but we're doing it for commercial account, accounts. It could be apartment communities, it could be uh, executive housing, base housing, senior living. Uh, you know, we if people live there, sleep there, bathe there, we believe it's an opportunity for residential cleaning uh, business owners, and we uh, promote the idea of, of expanding into those markets as well. Liz? Oh, sorry. All right, so you've heard a little bit about who we are, and um, now I just want to tell you a little bit, to get started on what the program is actually about. That's why you're on this webinar, after all. Uh, so we're going to tell you a lot about the details 
of what's included in the program. But uh, for a, a bigger picture view, I just wanted to show you a, a few of the things that you can get as um, a, a, a grad of the Foundation's program. Um, not only what you can get, but a new way of being, how you will, how you will be now as, as a new owner and what, what you'll have. And so it, it makes everything better. So some of the things on here, I don't know if everybody can um, see the screen or if some people have called in, so I'm going to read a few of these things, but not all of them. One of the big things is, is that you can have a tailored growth plan that is specific to your business. Um, obviously, that's what tailored means, is that it's specific to your business, but a lot of us just are winging it day by day. But with this program, one of the great things that you will get is this new plan. You're going to create it, but it's going to be something that you can believe in and make sense for you in your business and where you want to go. Uh, you'll have a real good direction for a year. Uh, it's not just a year because you learn the ex you get the experience and you learn how to create this plan for ongoing years. So it's not just again about what you're going to get. It's about who you're going to become as uh, a part of this program. A couple of other things on here. Just I'm sure you, most of you can read this. Um, one of the big things that people really like is that morning calm that you get. A lot of us when we're smaller or first starting out or before we have really good systems in place, the morning is very, very chaotic. Uh, attendance is a nightmare, uh, which causes chaos for the entire schedule, bumping jobs, moving jobs around, trying to figure out what we're going to do and if we're even going to be able to make the day. So getting that figured out can, oof, can really, really impact how you run your business and how you feel about your business. And another really, really big thing is you're going to get a lot of the secrets that the big companies use. You, you know, probably you know, that there are things that, that you just don't know yet. You know that there are things you don't know, but you don't know how to get them. So that's part of what the program gives you is, what is it that the big companies are doing? What are the small things, the little tweaks that just need to happen to make things run more smoothly? Well, the big companies have been doing those regularly for a while, and that's part of what makes them big companies. Another really nice thing, uh, I think is a really nice thing, is after going through this program, you'll find that your quality is much easier to sustain. Most of us really want to have a higher quality rating in our company, a higher level of quality that we're offering, but how to keep that consistency, that's not always so easy, especially if you're dealing with any kind of turnover, which of course we help you address as well, which contributes to this higher quality rating that you can get on a regular basis. So those are just some of the, some of the things that I think are pretty impactful. For, for the business. Another thing that I don't think is on here that I also think is really, really impactful for a lot of people is you are going to have the knowledge and understanding of how your business actually works. What are the numbers that run your business and how to read those numbers? How to look at just a few numbers even and be able to see really, really big changes that are possible for your company and see the direction that you could potentially go. So that, that really makes a big difference. Knowing and understanding those numbers uh, is poof, very, very powerful for a lot of people. I'm sorry I keep making that weird poof <laughs> noise on the slide. I think that's about it for this slide. Okay. So this is Derek, and just an overview, this is what we call our Foundations of Success model. Um, it sounds like such a simple thing to clean houses, um, and when I got into this industry, that's what I first thought. I'm like, gosh, how hard can this be? You find customers who want their houses cleaned, you find cleaners who want to, house, who want to work, and voila, you make money. Not, not that difficult. Um, well, we've kind of broken it down into all the different processes you need to have, and there's two slides to this. So this is just the processes you need to actually get the houses cleaned. You've got to find techs, 
You've got to evaluate them, hire them, and train them. Then you've got to market and advertise. You've got to convert those leads into actual customers. You've got to keep those customers happy, schedule them, dispatch the cleaners, and get everything clean. And then you've got all the questions about what type of equipment should we use? How do we keep the equipment in shape? If we've got company cars, what are we doing with those company cars? And things like that. So that's just what it takes to actually physically get things clean. Now if we jump to this next slide, you'll see that these are all the back-end processes that aren't immediately apparent but also need to be there. And one of the things, once again, that we've mentioned in passing a couple of times but is really, really different about our program is we are not super prescriptive on what to do because your business needs to be a reflection of you. It needs to be a reflection of your strengths and your weaknesses. And so how you design your processes is going to be a little custom to each of you. But that being said, for each of those boxes on the previous page in each of the boxes on these pages, you need a process. And the goal of the foundations program is to go through and basically make sure that all of your processes are there and they make sense with each other. Liz likes to talk about building a house through additions and the mess you end up with. And that's what a lot of us do is we pick up an idea here, pick, pick up an idea there. A lot of great ideas on their own, but they don't work well together. So one of the things we try to do in the foundations model is actually look at all of the pieces and make sure they fit together. So I'm not going to read this whole slide just because there's a lot on it, but this is your taxes, your payroll, your employment law, your technical relations, your um, key measures, and just physical housekeeping and security. Um, my background check company recently told me that now to get background checks, they want to come inspect my building and make sure that I'm keeping the confidential employee information properly secured and I've got an alarm and stuff like that. So there are new rules and regulations that pop up all the time and that's some of the stuff that's covered on this part of the program. Next slide, Tom. Liz, Liz you are up, I believe. Yep. All right. Some of uh, the additional benefits that you're going to get from this program. Um, uh, well, I'm just I'm just going to go through the slide real quick. Is renewed and specific business objectives and action-oriented goals for meeting those objectives. So the reason why this is impactful, the thing that is um, the big message here is action-oriented goals for meeting those objectives. Because a lot of times we get new information and we get really excited and we, we have this great plan, but we don't actually take the action that is necessary to meet those goals. And here we find ourselves at the end of the year or at the end of whatever period that we've set up and we're pretty much in the same boat. Or we look back one year from today and we realize, wow, what have I done? What have I really changed? What, how have I really grown? What have I done? And it's really frustrating. So part of what this uh, program does is help you to create those plans, but also gives you the action-oriented processes and, and uh, procedures for meeting those objectives. The next one is a tailored business processes to accomplish those goals. So that's pretty much what I was talking about before, except to say that you are going to be creating these with our help, of course. We give you all of the um, basic templates, et cetera, and we give you direction. But you're going to tailor these to your specific company. Piggybacking on what Derek said and what Tom also said, uh, we believe that how you want to run your company is going to be best defined by you, and then we're going to help you figure out the best way to run the type of business that you want. And so you're going to see that word tailored a lot in our materials. We're also going to give you some immediate measurable results for each process. Uh, we're going to show you exactly how to be able to tell if what you're doing is working or not. Because that, <laughs> uh, that really matters. A lot of times we're doing stuff and we don't even realize that this isn't even smart. We should have stopped doing this six months ago and here we are still doing it. So we're, we're helping you to figure out what your results are from each process that you take on. There's an entire collection of customizable resources uh, so that you can tailor everything to, to your individual business and it's a uh, we're going to go over uh, on some of the later slides some of those customizable resources, but it is an extensive list. Uh, you're going to get that business growth plan that I talked about earlier. 
uh, you'll get a full year of ongoing support with uh, coaches, and that, again, is Tom, Derek, and I, or myself. And um, I, it, there are additional programs that we have that a lot of people don't know about. You have probably not heard about it at all. Uh, one of the programs is what we call our Alumni Action Group. And you can only be part of that group as an alumni of the Foundations program. And I'm not sure if we clarified this, but sometimes you'll hear us mention Foundations of Success, and you'll also hear us mention Jumpstart. Uh, let me clarify what that is real quick here. The Foundations of Success is the entire program, and Jumpstart is this particular offering. It's this type of offering that we, we have where everybody comes together for a week. So this offering is our Jumpstart offering that I'm talking about, but we also have the base Foundations of Success program that is available without the Jumpstart option. Uh, it's just um, the bare bones information without the actual action steps and without the all, all of the additional uh, resources, which we're going to be going over in these next, I think, 30 slides, <laughs> 35 slides. Um, all right, uh, access to the three of the leading, leading, the industry's leading entrepreneurs, and that would be the guys and I. Okay, let's see. So three months of evaluations and assessments. Uh, we would, we are uh, in the middle here, uh, January, February, and March. And so you're a little bit behind the gun. If you haven't signed up yet, you would have to do a little bit of catch-up work, but not so much that it's uh, not, not doable. It's a little bit of assessment work, and uh, I think that might be it. It's basically some assessment stuff. What type of assessments list are we talking about? Oh, we have some, uh, mostly our self-assessments. Uh, but there is one behavioral assessment and a motivator assessment. Uh, the self-assessment, you're going to be assessing your uh, marketing strategies, your leadership strategies, your financial capabilities. Um, I'm trying to remember all of the different things. Oh, your strategic uh, plans. And you figure out where you actually are. I, I think a lot of the people that are on this webinar may have done a skinny down version of some of the assessments just to get an idea of where you're sitting. Uh, and anybody that's interested in doing that skinny down version, I think there are five different sections of ten questions each just to give you an idea of where you're sitting in different areas, operations, uh, I think is the other one. Uh, let, let me know at the end of this presentation and we'll, we'll make sure and get that to you if you don't already have it. All right, so the week long jump start experience that I was talking about before, the, these are some of the things that are included. It's 55 hours of classes and workshops to develop customized ready to implement systems. So what this means is, um, well, this is not what it means, obviously what it means is clear, but how it works is we will present a class and then directly after that class, there is a workshop that is directly related to that class where we hammer out the work that we just taught you all about so that you don't have a chance to forget about it or put it on the back burner or decide to do it later. There are certain things that we're going to teach you that you absolutely are going to go home with complete because we are going to have you in a workshop doing those things every class. I'm hammering on this really hard because it is such a huge and hugely impactful thing. So much of the time we gather information, we learn all of these new things, we have all of these grand ideas, we have a nice list and or many, many lists, and we're going to do it. We're planning on it. We're going to get to it. But somehow time just keeps sliding away. But and the Jumpstart experience, there is no way for the time to slide away. You are in a workshop and you are doing the work with a, a coach directly after the class. So it makes a huge, huge difference. Uh, it's a full week spent working on your business, not in your business. A lot of you have heard the saying, don't work in your business, work on your business. If you've read the E-Myth, that's a really big idea in the E-Myth, is that you have to get out of your business uh, in some sense, 
at least the technician role, so that you can work on your business. You're going to spend an entire week working on your business. Uh, another, I guess I'm going to talk about that later. I was going to tell you one more thing, but it's coming up. So there's also a full day at Castle Keepers of Charleston, uh, one of the best and largest cleaning companies in America. How many square feet is your building, Tom? I never can remember. 10,000. 10,000 square feet. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. Uh, there's so much going on there. Not that you have to have a 10,000 square foot business, but uh, his building is supporting a, a larger company. And just seeing the operations and seeing how things actually can run so smoothly and the way that it runs is so valuable for so many people. Uh, I, it, it can't be overstated, actually. You're going to leave with over 20 completed tasks, and here is going to be a list of them, I think, on this next slide. Um, okay, so some of the strict curriculum. Derek, are you on this? Yep, I'm on. So on the curriculum, we get into a whole bunch of different things. There's, uh, the whole curriculum and all the printed out materials fills two binders plus some, and then there's some things we don't even give you in a printed out form. That's just the presentations. Um, we go through strategy and planning, human resources and personnel, marketing and sales, which is my area, um, operation and service delivery, your financial management and performance measurement, how do you track all this, how do you administer and manage your customer experience. So that's just part of it. Um, and also, as part of the curriculum, for example, on business strategy, we talk about your stages of growth, how do you measure success and do business planning. We do what we call the employee life cycle. That means how do you take customer, not customers, employees, all the way from the beginning through the end of their life with you. So your handbooks, your recruiting, your policies, your procedures, your training, your inspections, your corrections, your terminations. Um, and just real simple examples here. We give you an employee handbook that you use and modify and is ready to go. One of the sessions, we give you an HTML-enabled uh, Craigslist ad, so you can run a Craigslist ad that's got hyperlinks and custom pictures in it. Um, on the sales processes, we're doing lead generation, quoting, sales funnels, lead nurturing, closing sales, client relations, client retention. And honestly, I don't even know everything we're covering in sales and marketing, because Matt Ricketts is going to join me in teaching this one. And he is coming directly from a uh, conversion summit that he's going to that he spent over three thousand dollars for and he's going to arrive a day late and he and I probably the first day of class are going to have to sneak off and update all of this with all the things he learned just from that. Then we come around to cleaning procedures. We're going to talk about the science of cleaning, cleaning, the procedural options, safety manuals, workloading, bill rates, things like that. Once again, uh, another one in the classes, you're going to get a copy of a cleaning procedures manual, and then we're going to spend some time as a group tweaking that and making it so you can use it. Uh, operations, ops manual, scheduling and dispatching, uh, legal responsibilities, and then once again, I already kind of touched on some of the marketing stuff. So now you can jump to the next slide, Tom. You know, one, one of the things that isn't included on that slide, and I should have put it on there, I didn't realize that I hadn't put it on there yet, uh, one of the new things for, um, for this program is we're going to have a new Train the Trainer program. In previous versions, we have never had that. We've given some direction, but we haven't had a fully editable uh, program for that. And we will have that this time, so that's kind of exciting. Um, so I'm going to go through the next slides um, a little bit more quickly because there is going to be a lot of stuff here. Um, so you're going to go home with uh, what we call a responsibility grid, helping you to define what roles are and who should be in them. Uh, the cleaning procedural manual, this includes pictures, all of the different areas, what should be cleaned, what shouldn't. You will customize that yourself, but we will give you the template to start with, uh, refine and practice sales processes, prospect lead nurture processes, advanced KPI calculator for tracking your numbers. I think we also have a simple KPI calculator, uh, but the advanced KPI calculator is its pretty amazing, all of the different things that you can track with it and how you can use it for forecasting, one of the things that we don't talk a lot about, but it's super impactful. 
um, hiring packet, job descriptions, your job advertisements, your interview questions and process. So uh, we do spend a good uh, workshop on doing interview questions. Uh, how, how we do our workshops is that we usually break out into three different groups so that you can work on whatever makes the most sense for you. So when we are talking about hiring or I, I believe recruiting, one of the workshops is on interview questions and process. And the reason I'm bringing it up is we're going to teach you a whole new way of doing interviewing that actually nets you employees that work well in our industry. Normally when you go online and you Google interview questions or you talk to all your friends, you hear the same questions over and over again. Why do you want to work here? How, how many years experience do you have? Why should I hire you? All of the basic questions. We're going to teach you the right questions to ask so that you get employees that match your company and then they want to stay because they actually match your company. All right, so I said I was going to go faster. Sorry about that. I just really love that workshop because people are always blown away by it. Uh, we're going to give you practice and the best ways to discipline and terminate employees. That's a hard, hard thing for a lot of owners to do. We're not just going to talk about it. We're going to practice it. Uh, three internal work process designs. Um, so some examples, breakage, rate increase, inspections, reschedule, client termination, client terminate services how to do these. And remember, we break out into those different groups, so you'll decide what you want to do. Uh, you get a bill rate calculator and your ideal bill rate. So if you've ever wondered, how much should I be charging, or how much are other people charging, or how much can I charge, we're going to help you figure that out. A customized plan to get customer feedback and reviews and testimonials. Uh, scripts and procedures for dealing with difficult situations. Um, we're just going to give you little templates and it help you to set those up for your company. Complete consumer profiles for target marketing. This is another workshop that we're going to do. Complete AdWords campaign. Uh, 2017 annual plan drafted and customized your goals. I've mentioned this a couple times and the reason it's brought up so many times is you cannot believe the difference that can happen for your company when you actually set a plan and then begin to work that plan. Much different than just setting a goal for where you want to be in January of 2018 and then checking in 2018 and seeing if you, if you did it. Setting a plan that's customized to your goals and then working that plan makes such a huge difference for, for your business growth. Uh, SEO calendar with clear actions. Again, again, we're very action oriented in the Foundations of Success program and you'll really notice that in the Jumpstart program specifically. A 2007 marketing plan with your weekly and monthly campaigns. Of course, they are all of these individual plans are linked to your annual plan and you have an action and implementation plan, weekly activities to get all of this stuff done. And we've broken that out to such a degree because all of those pieces really, really, really matter. All right, here are some things that a lot of people just don't think about when they're thinking about the Jumpstart experience, but I really think they make a huge, huge difference. Um, so you get breakfast, lunch, and dinner included as your toil away. Um, I think that's not such a big deal, except that the food is delicious and delightful and catered in and it's something we don't have to worry about. Uh, we have a huge kitchen, we have two large refrigerators, so we do have additional food for snacking. We, we do a lot of snacking. I'm not going to tell you how much weight I gain every time we go to, to a job start experience, but uh, there's a lot of eating going on, a lot of eating of very fine, yummy foods. Uh, lodging at one of Charleston's renowned beach resorts. Uh, it's a huge mansion. I think that's the picture of it there in the background. I think we might have another picture coming up though where you can see it a little bit better. It has a hot tub, a pool. I can't even remember how many bedrooms that it has. I think that might be listed somewhere. Tom, do you remember off the top of your head how many bedrooms it has? It has 12 bedrooms, 12 bathrooms. 12 bedrooms, 12, 12 bathrooms. It's, it's a big place. And um, the walk to the beach is uh, about a minute, maybe. You go down the dock and you're on the sand instantly, and then you're in the water. 
So it's right there. Now the big thing that I think is a value to the Jumpstart experience that we can't really explain well is the opportunity to meet and network with the people that are in your Jumpstart experience. These people uh, bond so tightly at this event that afterwards they have their own built-in mastermind groups and just organically grow out of this experience because it's really 24 hours a day. It's not just the class time and the workshop time. After that, you bond on a whole different level because you're there talking about all of the stuff that you learned and created throughout the day and it's a lot. Remember, we have you working all day long actually creating things, not just learning. And so everybody has a chance to compare, refine, improve, and just learn new things, nuances about how they could improve their their own individual plans. Uh, this is a huge big deal there. Uh, failure to implement. Number one reason any business investment fails. So we are going to keep that from happening for you. You buy something. How many times have you done this? You buy a new program, you buy anything, and you start you work really hard on it for the first day or the first week. And three months down the line, you don't even know where that program is. That doesn't happen here. We make you do the stuff. You will implement this program because we make you do it. It's the huge difference of the Jumpstart program over just the, the base foundations program. Uh, you make a big commitment to building your business and guess what? We are going to put in a ton of effort for you. You're not going to believe how much time and effort is put in. We hear this every single time. At the end of our uh, event, it's one of the biggest pieces of feedback that we get is that they couldn't believe how how great this program was and how much more they got than they thought they were going to get. I think uh, usually Derek stays at the mansion and if there's room he, he will probably stay again this time and so he does a lot of 24-hour networking. Well, I guess he does sleep a little bit, but he's there on site the whole entire time as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, six more months of ongoing support, April through September. Uh, accountability partners are assigned. Um, we do a DISC assessment. That was one of the assessments I talked about earlier, the behavioral assessment. And we link you up with somebody that is a good match for you. So if you're the kind of person that needs to be pushed, maybe, we link you up with somebody that's really pushy versus linking people up that are alike, we link you up with someone who will be your best match so that you both get what you need to move forward. You're going to have an additional six months of accountability calls with the three of us, and we're going to make sure that you stay on track with your plan so that you don't fall off and just go back to doing things the old way. Um, membership in the private Facebook group, uh, where all of the alumni are located, and then access to the alumni action group that I, I mentioned earlier. It's a, a group that is only dedicated to people that want to continue taking large action in their company. Uh, free access to the CBB products that we have. So Tom mentioned earlier uh, in the presentation, uh, the High Pet Program, High Performing Employee Program, and we have uh, what we call role play videos where you actually watch how to do some of the things that we tell you how to do because it's 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 a different experience when you have been told how to do it and you know, you think you know how to do it but when you watch somebody else do it it's a whole new level just like you know when you're training somebody you could tell them what to do tell them how to clean a house but until you actually show them how to clean a house they're not going to get it. So there's a whole, oh, I don't even know how many there are um, of the role play videos, but there's a, a large quantity of them, and you get all of those. Uh, the daily engagement videos, this is a unique idea. I, this was Tom's idea way back when, years and years ago, he had this idea, and we tossed it around for a while, and we finally came up with how to do it. These videos are created for your employees. 
They are designed to be just short little videos that you play for your employees on a, on a daily basis. What they do is they lend you credibility. They have all of the messages that you have been giving to your employees and little sound bites that make you look really smart. There are over 600, is that right? Anybody know? That's, over 600 of them? Yeah, about 612, I believe. 612 of them. So you could literally play one every day for years and, and, and not have to replay them. Uh, but you will want to play some over and over again. You might want to play some of the integrity videos. You might want to play some of the leadership videos. Or um, a lot of times people will play the ones that are especially impactful for situations that you're going through. So if you're going through a big growth spurt in, in your company and you're having to hire on a lot of new employees, you might want to play DEVs that are about inclusion and how to be a team and, and that type of thing. So those are really, really helpful. Um, those, these are some of the things that we were talking about earlier that are not included in those binders. These are downloadable things that you will get. The Team Builders 12-pack. My company is really known for um, having a strong culture. And some of the things that we do is we, we have team building exercises. And that's what this is. is the Team Builders 12-pack is just a bunch of team building exercises that you can use in lots of different ways. I think there are a few that can be sent out into the field for your teams, like um, how to do a scavenger hunt with your teams to keep them engaged out there in the field and to, to build teams. Uh, the Made Money Starter Kit that Tom talked about is just an engagement tool. The Target Marketing Toolkit. This is a really cool thing that Derek created. It has a lot of target marketing um, things that are already created, like a brochure. The one that I really love is a pet brochure that uh, I can put in veterinarians' offices, um, doggy daycares, anywhere that I want. So when those people go there and are attracted, then they can pick up one of these um, uh, brochures. And the reason why this is cool is they're already created for you. All you have to do is plug in the name of your company and your logo and good to go. The next is a core value deck. Um, this is a core value deck of cards. This is help you figure out what your core values are and also how to hire by using your own core values. Remember we talked earlier about hiring people that match your company so that they want to stay and you're not constantly having that big turnover. The core values deck helps with that. The professional house cleaning technician's manual. This is the manual that Tom was talking about earlier on that he and Derek helped to author. This is the I want to say legal, and that's not the word I'm looking for. What's the word I'm looking for, Tom? It official. is the real. Say it again. Official. Official. Thanks. It is the official house cleaning technician manual that is offered or for the program that is offered by IICRC, and it's the only one of its its kind that there. The only one that there is, and you also get a foundations class shirt. We all have little uh, polo shirts. Additional bonus, you'll get your business assessment questionnaire today. Anybody that is interested in signing up for the program, um, this is that the bigger questionnaire that I talked about. Um, if you're worried about payments, we have options. Um, one of the other things that we do is only a certain number of, of uh, companies are allowed in the program, obviously, and within that, only one area per market is allowed. So once somebody in St. Louis is in the program, then nobody else from St. Louis can be accepted into the program. So if you are in a larger market, you would definitely want to sign up sooner versus later because the larger the market, the more people that there are that are looking for this program. Uh, <clears throat> If the sooner you sign up also, you uh, will have more time to do the homework, the, the pre-work that we talked about earlier. 
All right, this is the schedule. Uh, January through March are those assessments that we talked about. Um, uh, March through September, the, this is um, the stuff you're gonna have your buddy check in and you'll do a one-on-one -on -one coaching with who, uh, whoever your um, personal coach is. We don't have any dates or anything, so those are just the months. The total program value, three months of evaluations and assessments, 1,500, all of the different things. The week-long experience is, has a $9,000 value. The Charleston experience bonus is 7000 All of the things that we just showed you. And the total uh, total retail value of $27,477. The total that we are charging is $84.95. Savings is 69%. Now, I know you see these kind of slides all the time. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, one thing that I think is unique to our slide is that these numbers are very, very accurate. The numbers are taken from what we actually have charged in the past or are currently charging for some of these things. So that's the actual true retail value. It's not just, oh, we're just kind of slapping a big, huge price on this so that we can bump it up. No, this is actually, if you bought all of these things individually, that is how much it would cost you. Uh, but the fee for the class is actually only $84.95. 69% savings, I really love big savings, so <laughs> it makes a big deal for me. Uh, okay, $84.95, here are the different payment plans that we have. Full payment plan, if you pay everything up front, uh, so you get a 10% discount uh, for a total of 76 45 50 Some of you may have bigger companies. I know this version of Jumpstart, we do have some bigger companies coming. Um, if it matters to you who, who is coming and what size of companies, we do have, I think, one or two companies that are smaller, but we also have some larger companies. Again, Matt Ricketts is helping us to present one portion, but he's also a student of the Jumpstart program, and his company is much larger. He's in the St. Louis area. Uh, look him up online. Uh, we also have one of our returning uh, alumni, Lily, Lillian Lima, and she, uh, she'll be doing a refresher. She appreciates, again, the experience of one week working on your business, working in your business. So the alumni get a drastically reduced price to come again and just hang out for a week. So a lot of times we'll get uh, people from the alumni program taking us up on that offer. Uh, the six-month standard plan, payment plan, is a $1,000 deposit. And six month no interest plan, twelve forty nine. It's billed monthly. The second registrant fee is nineteen ninety nine, and you have to pay that at the time of deposit. So if you had two people that are coming, you would pay two thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. Sorry, that's hard for me to say for some reason. And then the extended payment plan is a thousand dollar deposit, and then it's six fifty five billed monthly, and that includes the nine percent interest that is. Um, included in that. And the same thing with the 1999 second registration fee. And remember that registration locks out your competitors. Registration process, and maybe take a picture of this because I'm going to run through some more slides real quick. I think, or is this my last slide, Tom? Uh, well, you got this and then you got your Q&A and then you've got some wrap-up slides that go on for a while those big ones, right? So maybe take a picture of this slide just because we're going to run through those other ones and there's there's a good chunk of those still. Uh, we'll come back though so you don't have to take a picture, but if you're in a hurry because I just realized it's 1245 here, then you might want to take a picture. All right, call me. Call me directly. This is my cell number, 951-5419. Um, 360 is my area code. I'm on the west coast Again, I'm in Olympia, Washington. So if you're on the East Coast, right now it's 345, and for me it would be 1245. So you wouldn't want to call me at 6 in the morning because I probably won't answer. It'll be 3 in the morning here. Or you can send an email to me at americanmade.comcast.net, and I'm very responsive to email. Uh, formal rec registration, signing the terms and conditions, and giving us a credit or a debit card. Uh, we also accept PayPal. Uh, we've done quite a few PayPal's this time. 
All right. Are there any questions here before I run through really quickly all of the little calculators, etc.? I'm going to go ahead and open up the uh, mic. Thanks, Tom. If I can get my mouse to work. Okay, I think everyone can talk now. Anyone have any questions? All right, well, I don't know if we have any of um, the Facebook people, the active Facebook group people, but if we do, another person I didn't mention that is registered to come is Ben Ferris. For those of you that don't know who Ben is, check out some of the Facebook groups. He's very active and the thing that Ben is most known for is his phenomenal growth. He has grown so quickly. I don't have any kind of details. Do you have any even vague details, Tom, about Ben? I know you've worked with him. Have a good one. I, yeah, he, I guess he's published these, so he'd be cool with saying that he, he went from just from scratch in one year, he built a business that was doing $700,000, which is phenomenal, that lot. phenomenal growth. Yeah, I, I don't remember hearing anybody else that has done that to that degree or and that I've had a chance to sit down and chit chat with. I don't know if you guys have, but seven seven days of sitting in a room with that that type of person, um, that also has a huge, huge value. So did I hear that somebody had a question? I thought I heard somebody. Okay. I don't have any. Can you hear me? Yep. Oh, yeah, I sure can. Who is that? It's Nina. Oh, hey, Nina. How are you doing? I'm already coming. I don't know why I'm on the seminar. I just... <laughs> I don't know, but you're, well, you want to see what you're going to have, right? So Nina is another person that's coming to, to the Jumpstart program. So are you excited, Nina? Yes. My husband's not, but I am. <laughs> He's not? Well, I think that um, people should probably know that the reason your husband's not excited is you have a newborn baby. Yeah. And so that you're living at home. How, how old will he be at that time? He'll be um, three and a half, four months, I think. Yeah, you know what, that's some hardcore commitment there, Nina. I actually, oh, when I, I had your name on my list, because we had talked, you know, last year, and mm -hmm. I, I told the guys, I was like, she really wants to come, but she won't be able to. She's got a brand new baby. Oh, and no, we I'm sort of, coming. Yeah, you're coming, I know. You're committed. We love people like you. Hardcore. Yeah. I might be a hot mess, but I'll be there. So. Hey, you're probably going to feel good. You're going to, to you, it's probably going to freeze. You're going to get a whole, like, five hours of sleep every night. Oh, it'll be great. Yes. <laughs> All right. Anybody else out there? Anybody else have any questions? All right. I'm just going to run through these next slides way faster than I did. I'm just going to pull out a, um, the, just the titles. And you guys can read what you're going to be seeing. I don't know if you've seen all of this either, Nina, so it might be interesting to you, too. Although if you, I think you're in School of Cleaning already, so you may have already seen this. Have you gotten into School of Cleaning already, Nina? Um, I've created an account, but I haven't gotten onto it yet. Okay, well, it's a little overwhelming, so make sure that you don't. Um, sit down to do that until baby's asleep and you've got at least an hour because it, there's a ton of information in there and it'll suck it'll suck the life out of you I, I promise <laughs> all right a um, bunch of prep tools so um, we've already seen a lot of those and I'm not going to go over these I've just started to talk and I'm not going to do that um, business planning and strategy financial calculators you see there's a whole big long list of them there KPI calculators, another long list. Employee planning and recruiting, long list. Um, job descriptions. Um, you're going to get job descriptions from all three of our companies and some other um, companies as well, some um, amalgamations. Orientation, all some, a whole bunch of different ways of, of doing orientation. Technician training, 
uh, trainer training. And like I said, this, this year, if you look on this list, it says a trainer schedule and what to train the trainer. This year we have an entire train the trainer program that's uh, editable for you. So that, that's a big shift this year. And more tech training, everything about your tech training. Uh, employee management, uh, employee, more employee management, verbal warnings, uh, termination letters, exit interviews, how to, how to promote people to different positions within the company. Employee manual, all the different things that belong in there, things that you probably haven't even thought about. Uh, working late, job abandonment, leave of absence policy, how about your FMLA policy and procedures, do you have that in there? Uh, your basic employee policies, you know, building security, um, if somebody gets hurt, um, if there's visitors in the workplace, all that kind of stuff. Uh, professional conduct, uh, because you, shocking, I know, to all of you that are running businesses, that, gosh, a lot of our employees are not all that professional sometimes, so we have to teach them how to do that, and we're going to give you all of the information about how to get your employees to be more professional. Those DEVs are going to help you a lot in that area as well. Employee compensation, all the different options, and what will work best for you and what you decide you want to do in your company. Uh, more compensation, full-time, part-time, meal and rest periods, uh, benefits. What are some of the benefits that you can offer? It doesn't have to be just health and dental and visual care. Uh, maybe you're offering um, personal leaves of absence. Maybe you're giving them a Costco card. Um, maybe you're giving them some sick leave instead of vacation pay. Lots of different options. Um, smoking, drugs, alcohol. These are all different things that are going to be um, um, dealt with. How you can do some of these different things. More expenses, office procedures, non-discrimination, anti-harassment stuff. Safety, oh yeah, you, everybody, I don't know if you know this, but legally you have to have a safety manual and you have to be presenting on that on a regular basis and it has to be documented. Other employee policies, lead and sales process, which again, this is not as up to date as what you will be receiving because Derek and Matt are going to be adding to this. We're not, we're not taking anything away, but we are adding to and um, I, I guess I guess completing it too. Uh, other employee policies. Uh, oh no, it was clients after that. All the client relations stuff, being proactive. A whole section on on being proactive and being reactive. And a lot of times we think of being reactive as a bad thing, but sometimes you don't have a choice. You get a bad online review. How do you handle that? So we're going to we're going to teach you how to be reactive in the right way because you have to do it sometimes. Cleaning procedures, lots of stuff there. We're going to help you figure out what are the best procedures for you in your company. Training tools, uh, operations, your process flow, your process rating worksheets, um, your bill rate, how much you should be charging, workloading, production planning, tons of stuff in this area. Uh, all your marketing stuff, drill and target marketing. Google, SEO, AdWords, Google Places, and we make sure that your accounts are actually set up. So if your accounts are already set up, great, we're going to move you on to another workshop. But if they're not, we will make sure that they are before you leave. Uh, social media, focus on Facebook, how to utilize uh, Facebook in a better way for business. Uh, and then all the plans to get it done that we talked about before, your business plan, marketing plan, your SEO calendar, action and implementation plan. That is it. Yeah. Oh, is that all? Is that all we have in there? Yeah. <laughs> so, like I said, it's 55 hours of, of um, programming and then uh, all of the additional stuff on top of that, time, etc. Uh, you're going to want to plan on being busy for at, at least 65, 70 hours for that week that you're there, but it's going to be some of the best time that you spend because you're going to actually do things and complete things. So this is the registration process. 
for anybody that's interested, um, take my number down, call me. Like if you're not sure if this program is right for you, and it might not be. Uh, just recently, I had to tell somebody that I didn't think the program was right for her. Um, so if you're not sure if this would be right for you, maybe you think you're too small or you think you have a lot of this stuff already and would it be beneficial to you, uh, call me. We can chit chat and figure that out. Sometimes it's not the right fit. Also, if you are still so busy working in your business and you find yourself liking to stay in your business, you, you want to continue working like out in the field, this might not be a good program for you because it's really de designed for people who want to get out of the field, don't want to be working in the field anymore. They want to be working in their office doing the, more of the back end stuff. So if that's not you, I can tell you right now this program is probably not for you. Also, this program doesn't end um, after you leave the Jumpstart experience. Um, you're going to have to do a lot of homework for, again, the next six months and probably a lot longer, but at least six months you're going to be doing homework. So if you think that it's just too much work, too big of a commitment for you, you, you know that you can't do it, you won't work that hard, not a good program for you either. It'll just be more wasted dollars, so I would recommend against it for you. Sorry, Tom, don't hit me for this one. He hates it when I tell people it's not a great program for them. But the truth is, and I, we all agree that if it's not the right program, it's just not the right program. So if you're not sure, uh, again, give me a call. And if you feel like you would like to talk with Tom or Derek, then we can send you that way to have a chit-chat with them as well if you think that they have more of the information that you might want to tap into. All right, any final questions? We're just two minutes away from that hour, I think. Oh, I guess four minutes. What's? Can I ask? Yeah. I don't think anyone can ask a question. Um, what's the magic eraser? I have like ten boxes of magic erasers. What's the magic eraser gorilla marketing thing? Derek. Um, basically, it's a door hanger we made, and we use the principle that if you give something of value, they're more likely to use your service and read it. So it's a door hanger that's designed to be used with a magic eraser. Um, that gives them 10 tips how to use the magic eraser to clean their house and then also to give you a call. Um, so just a way to kind of uh, get customers to read your stuff because when you just leave a flyer on the door, they don't look at it. But when you leave a magic eraser, which has a very high perceived value, but we can get from uh, places like Sponge Outlet for relatively cheap, they're more likely to look at it and call you. Yeah, okay. And there's also a psychological aspect to that. When you give somebody the magic eraser, they find it hard to throw away your flyer. It's very difficult. It feels, it feels no. wrong. So I'm it'll kidding. be sick. It's right. Yeah. There's My a marketing head. principle called res, res, oh, I can't say reciprocity. Oh, I can't t talk to that. Reciprocity. Uh, it, it's the same reason why you sometimes get um, things in the mail and it's got a uh, nickel attached to it because people have a hard time not responding when they got a nickel. Wow. Is that yeah. in the cleaning school? Uh, in School of Cleaning, I think it, I think it is. Is it, Derek? Is it, it should in be. School of Cleaning? It, yeah. It's in one of the marketing modules. When we go through the class, we go through what's in each module. It's, it's in one of them. Awesome. That's a good question. I like that. We've never had that question before, Nina. Good job. I liked it. <laughs> Me too. All right. Anybody else? <clears throat> Anything else you saw that was like, what the heck's that? Well, maybe we can let them go for a couple minutes early, Tom. Okay. Well, thank you for uh, being part of our call this afternoon. Again, I hope you uh, found this uh, useful. Um, we like talking about our program. We're proud of it. We've gotten a lot of uh, feedback over the years where it's been uh, useful to uh, quite a few successful cleaning businesses. And if you have uh, any more questions, please feel free to uh, reach out. We'd love, love to... Uh, Talk to you more about our program. Guys, uh, 